the clock is ticking down and we turn our attention to two individual track finals now both involving world-class women the first comes over 1500 meters Hassan against Kip Yegon against Laura Muir this could be good Sifan Hassan can already lay claim to being athlete of the year she's won the diamond trophies over the 1500 and the 5000 world record 5k on the road world record one mile on the track and she's become the 10,000 meter world champion here already that's Nikki Hiltz on the inside the Pan-American champion Arafi of Morocco made the final here as she did in the eight so to Nanyondo Faith Kip Yegon in only her fifth race of the season She's won everything she's entered so far. She's the Olympic champion and the defending world champion coming back from maternity leave. Julian, area record for the United States. Laura Muir, five times a European champion, yet to deliver a global medal. Is this her chance? She was fourth in London. Sifan Hassan, the newly crowned world champion over 10,000 metres, the fastest woman in the world this year over the 1,500. She's bidding for an unprecedented double. Chiara McGeehan, European bronze in, 19, in 2019. Sege, world indoor bronze three years ago. Fell in the semi-finals two years ago. She's got one better here this time. Jenny Simpson, world champion in Daegu. Silver medals in Moscow and two years ago in London. One of the most experienced 1500 meter runners there's ever been. Winnie Chabet, another African representative there for Kenya. She's the African champion. And Gabriella Debus Stafford, national record holder for Canada, second in the Birmingham Diamond League. She's now in the sub four club. This could be a very, very special race. No man or woman in world championship or Olympic history has ever won a 10,000 and a 1,500 in the same race. Can Hassan do it or will she be denied? The final of the women's 1500 metres begins. So much intrigue with this one. Faith Kip Yegon, the defending champion, running behind her compatriot Winnie Chabet. Kip Yegon has barely raced since having her baby. She says the late nature of these world championships is like a gift from God and she feels ready. Sifan Hassan towards the back, the 10,000 metre champion. Laura Muir, the third fastest in the world this year, still agonisingly short of a global medal after five European crowns, indoor and out. Jenny Meadows, former world indoor and outdoor medalist over 800 metres. This race has everything. It does. If you look at the statistics of all the women, they've got some fantastic personal bests. I just didn't know how this race was going to unfold. It went off pretty pedestrian, and I think this is a dominant lead now by Hassan. She's actually just signaled to one of the athletes behind her, come on, let's speed it up. But 63.5 seconds, that's sub four minute pace. Well, this would begin to stretch them out, and it's doing so at the moment. Laura Muir beginning to work her way through on the outside. It's Hassan from Sege, Kip Yegon, the defending champion. Winnie Chabet, the African champion paying closer attention to Hassan at the front. She's already raced six and a quarter miles to take the 10,000 metre title, Hassan. Her range is unprecedented. We're watching something very, very special potentially here. The defending champion in second, Sege third. Simpson, the former world champion, coming wide on the outside. The Americans have got great representation here. And no move yet from Laura Muir, who's halfway down the pack. Yeah, Sifan Hassan's tactic is clear. Maybe because she now has stepped up in those distances, she may not actually think she's got enough speed to kick. She's run two world championships, where she's run the last 800 metres in a 1.57 clocking. Maybe now she thinks she has to take it hard. And Kip Yegon's there, they're all there. And I'm just watching Laura Muir just come in now into roundabout fifth position, taking closer order. Well, Sifan Hassan has turned herself into the pacemaker for this race. One by one, they're dropping off the back, but the big names are still right there. Hassan leads the fastest woman in the world this year over this distance. 
Faith Kip Jaeger on the defending champion is second. This is smart running from Great Britain's Laura Muir at the moment. She's in second. And remember, no British woman has ever won this title. They take the bell in the final of the women's 1500 metres. Sifan Hassan, the 10,000 metre champion, is pouring on the pace. And Faith Kip Yegon is beginning to have to work very hard here. Sege is in third. Kip Yegon trying to come wide on the outside. But look at this acceleration from Sifan Hassan. This is incredible. She's going away from the Olympic champion, the defending world champion, Laura Muir in third, Sege in fourth. She's streaking away here from a world-class field. Faith Kip Yegon is desperately giving chase. But we're watching something very, very special here in the Khalifa International Stadium. Never in the history of the World Championships, never in the history of the Olympic Games have we seen a man or woman win the 10,000 metres and the 1,500. And it's going to be just outside the world record. Kip Yegon takes the silver, Sege the bronze, 351.96. It's one of the fastest times we've ever seen. It's a championship record and she's done a double that many people, that most people thought would always remain impossible. She's won the six mile race in old fashioned money, the one mile race in old fashioned money. The 10,000 metre champion is the 1,500 metre champion and that is success on an unprecedented level. We have seen history in Doha tonight history in Doha tonight we have and I'm just looking at those times the first four times they'll all be national records we've never seen a race like this before 351.95 Hassan arrived in shape she would not have done the 1500 meters if she didn't think that she could win it but for me it was that third lap that was so significant she clocked a 61 seconds and then she sped up. Just looking at Kit Yegon there. She's run a 3.54 and bits. She's run a personal best and national record. But she got beat by three seconds. The way she accelerated over the last 700 metres was mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. She tore a world-class field to pieces. Faith Kip Yegon, national record. Sege of Ethiopia, personal best. Hulihan came home for fourth, area record. Laura Muir, season's best. Debu Stafford smashed her own national record, the Canadian in sixth. And a massive PB for Winnie Chabet, who was only seventh and ran 3.58. The strength and depth of that race was absolutely phenomenal. Look at Hassan here. Kip Yegon has done really well to pull away from the rest of the field to secure that silver. But Hassan is still going away at this point. She's looking round. I don't think she can believe that it's been this easy in the end. We've had some fantastic head-to-heads. We've had some world records. We've had some national records. But for me, this competition is edging it over all of the rest to have so many national records and some of the fastest times in the history of the event. Wow. Sifan Hassan produces the sixth fastest time in history and a championship record. Faith Kip Yegon, the 11th fastest time ever seen and a national record for the silver and Gudaf Sege, an enormous personal best for the bronze. That was a 1,500 metres to end them all.